I do not know if Katie Nolan is again late. I know she's always late, and so I think she was supposed to be here now. But yesterday was some calamity on the causeway, and today, Mike, you just got an email. Is it an email from her? I now? got an email from her, and she says, I'm a little late today, but I was working on something, and she says, eat this man 101. I don't know what it is, what it is, but I'm just going to open up the attachments, and we'll find out together, I guess. Ladies, we must do everything in our power to fight toxic masculinity. For the men in our lives, for us, for the future of society. But until then, take advantage of the fact that if you fart at the bar, no one will think it was you. Wow. You've heard of Mark Schlereth's Man 101. This is Katie Nolan's Woman 101. Tickets are going now for just 79 to 82 cents on the dollar, depending on your industry. <laughs> Katie Nolan's Woman 101. You're welcome. <laughs> um, an attachment or attachments is what an enraged Katie Nolan has sent you. Do you find yourself having feelings for Megan Rapino that you're not quite sure how to classify? Hi. I'm Katie Nolan, founder of Katie Nolan's Woman 101, a seminar for women who are offended when people refer to Sidney Crosby as Cindy Crosby, because they know deep down that Cindy Crosby would cry a lot less. <laughs> we'll order brunch and answer life's toughest questions, like, why do they even make scented tampons? Who's buying those on purpose? Katie Nolan's Woman 101. No, thank you. Who, who is buying those? I, I don't know. Uh, are there more? I didn't even know that they made them. <laughs> Why? You ever feel like everyone knows how to find the perfect hat except you? Do you have a private Pinterest board called Maybe Someday that you put more effort into than actually finding a sustainable relationship? <laughs> have you ever tried on a tube top at the mall only to find out it was actually a skirt. <laughs> we understand. Join us at Katie Nolan's Woman 101, where we know those shoes are comfortable, but we aren't going to tell you that like it's a compliment. <laughs> Katie Nolan's Woman 101. For sure, let me know if you need anything else. <laughs> there are more? You can't. No, come on, enough already. I mean, she's really late. No, come on, but I don't want this much equality. Ladies, when a man says, well, actually, do you instantly get your period? Do you definitely always totally watch the WNBA? Never miss a game, wouldn't dream of it. It's like so important to you. Then Katie Nolan's Woman 101 is the seminar for you. Learn such valuable skills as crying discreetly on public transportation, <laughs> writing a work email without an exclamation point, and how to not poop. Katie Nolan's Woman 101. Wait, Seriously, I have not pooped since 1995. <laughs> more? No, there can't be more. What? No! This is the last attachment, no! guys. Do you dislike Lena Dunham as much as your male friends, but feel uncomfortable <laughs> saying so in a public forum? Hashtag me too. <laughs> At Katie Nolan's Woman 101, We'll teach you how to deploy useful phrases like, I support the message, just not the messenger. So you can be the ally the world constantly expects you to be. <laughs> Did you find the Aziz Ansari story to be completely relatable, but still pretend to be outraged because support of the Me Too movement was more important in that moment than your personal opinion or experience, even though that you have had that, ex I mean, who hasn't had an experience that was similar and it's uncomfortable and you get that, but it was just, it wasn't time for you to voice that opinion right then. It was more important that you talked about the movement so you didn't counteract all the work that all the, all the wonderful women who we believe in were doing for, it just was, it's really complex and you, what was I trying? Katie Nolan's Woman 101. It's not a problem, honestly. I'm happy to help. <laughs> <laughs>